So I'm going to do something that I haven't done since I started doing the 30-day talk sports challenge. I'm going to talk about baseball two days in a row. It's true. So there's this video going around of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, the 19-year-old baseball phenom who plays for the Nationals. He has seven home runs so far this season and 19 RBIs and hit a huge home run in Tuesday night's game against the Blue Jays. You guys know, given my past as a reporter, I have a tendency to side with the reporters when the athletes start giving their lip. But in this instance, I'm siding with Bryce Harper. After the Toronto game, a reporter tries to kind of jokingly make this connection between Canada and 19 is legal drinking age and what's Bryce Harper's favorite beer and what is he going to drink to celebrate the victory. Number one, I like that somebody, assumingly a team PR person, steps in and says it's illegal for 19-year-olds to drink in the United States. There are a lot of 19-year-olds out there that don't necessarily follow that rule, but there are a lot of 19-year-olds that do. And Bryce Harper is in a very unique situation as a 19-year-old where there are a lot of people looking at him, looking to him, and looking up to him. So I really like that the team PR person or whoever it was was like, next question, he's not answering that. It's illegal to drink if you're under the age of 21. I like that the PR person has got Bryce Harper's back. Number two, this is what I think is really funny. This is the hey idiot reporter moment. Bryce Harper is Mormon. And as part of the Mormon religion, drinking is something that's pretty much frowned upon for Mormons. So reporter, um, do your homework, genius, before you try to ask a funny question and think that you're really clever. Number three, I love that Bryce Harper just goes, I'm not answering that. That's a clown question. And then they move on. And nobody makes a big deal out of it. Nobody jokes. Nobody pokes fun at him. Nobody does anything. I'm sure he got razzed a lot after the interview. But I love that it was handled so professionally from the team standpoint and from the Bryce Harper standpoint. He got his little jab in, but he didn't like make a big deal out of it. He's like, that's a clown question. I'm not answering that. I think that's pretty, that's pretty right on. So yesterday, because I was in the midst of talking about the saga of Josh Hamilton's career, I actually didn't predict the game, but I feel like I need to confess something. I actually thought Miami was going to win. And not only that, but when I went to bed at halftime, it looked like Miami was going to win. I just want to tell everybody that lives on the West Coast or in the Mountain West time zone, just love that you live there. You know why us East Coast people are mad? Because we can't watch sports. Because the games don't start till 9 o'clock at night. And to stay up and watch the whole thing, we have to stay up till midnight. And then we have to get up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning because our commute sucks. So no wonder why we're grumpy and mad. It's because sports needs to be on earlier here. We need to have sports start at 7 o'clock on the East Coast. And then you guys can watch it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's what I think should happen. This alone could be the sole reason why I do not stay on the East Coast for my whole career. Why I will find a place to live somewhere in California or on the West Coast. Somewhere where I can actually watch an entire game and not cut into my much needed beauty sleep. So when you West Coasters are watching the Miami Thunder game tomorrow night, know that it is nine o'clock at night on the East Coast. And to stay and to watch the game, arguably the best part of the game, we have to sacrifice some sleep. I'm a pretty big sports fan, but I just don't know how much sleep I'm willing to sacrifice in order to watch the game. If it were the Denver Broncos, hands down, I will stay up and watch a Monday night football game. I'm, maybe I'm getting old, but there is no way last night I was staying up until 11 o'clock at night on a Tuesday to watch a basketball game. Thank your lucky stars, you West Coast people. I know that there's a whole lot of angry East Coasters out here that envy your position.